Hello once again, this is Sander from Dokashi Tarot. And we've covered a lot with the Moog so far, but one thing we haven't quite used yet is the sequencer, which is a fantastic tool found on many modern synthesizers and uh, software programs like Reason. This is the 960 sequential controller, and the first thing I'm going to show you is how to use it to control pitch. This is just a rig to play the first two bars of Beethoven's Ode to Joy, just to show you what it sounds like. What I'm doing now is I'm setting uh, these note values to control pitch. I will be able to control the key, but then it will take the pitch from there, like so. Now the downside to this is you can't play individual notes to go along with it. The sequence pattern is pretty much going to have to stay on its own, unless you want to change the key. I'm going to show you that using the knobs that control tempo over here as well. So the first thing I'll do is I'll let the, uh, I'll let the music play right now. I'll speed it up. And then I'll modulate it up a fifth. So it keeps the same note values, but it just changes key, which is fantastic. And this is great, and it's the way the sequencers have been used for a while now. But sometimes what's more interesting than an analog synthesizer's imprecise note values and tempo is using the sequencer to control filters to create some really nice distortion effects. I've got it hooked into a low-pass filter here, and I'm going to show it to you first with the tempo slow like this, and the difference is pretty extreme so that you'll be able to hear and then uh, I'll show it to you faster for a very nice distortion effect. So you can see that every time the light moves, the note changes sound just a little bit. Now I'm going to speed that up and try to get that distortion going. Sometimes I get it so fast that you can't even see the lights blinking, like so. That gives it a nice staticky growl. That's a little bit faster, and then I'll do a little bit slower, like this. Now this can actually be nice for creating rhythmic sounds using just one note, or one pitch value rather, like this. loop a drum loop over that and it sounds fantastic. This is going so fast, or rather, it's not going at all. This is going so fast that it sounds like one single note. That's my favorite. That's about it. Uh, there are tuning, or rather timing controls down here, but those are pretty impractical for use with note values. They can be used with, um, when you're controlling the filter. So let's see, let's see how that sounds. Now the thing I do, is I set third row control timing on, and now these note values control how long these hold for. Slow it down so you can tell a little better. It skips right over these, and then it does these pretty constantly. Watch again. So you can see how that would kind of be useful, but much more useful is more glitchy effects, video game music like that, video game sound effects. That's pretty much how they do it. They set a sequencer all the way up to extremely high note values, and then just get sounds out of that. Well, that's about it.
Thanks for watching and keep playing.